I own a set of killer slippers. I don't mean they're extremely fashionable, something that only the elite will be seen in. I mean they are killer slippers. They have tried to end my life as I know it, for that matter, as anyone knows it. In those slippers, I have tripped downstairs, tripped over a slight rise in the elevation from one area to the next, trip on a carpet and slammed myself against a metal patio set, various other calam calamities. And maybe I'm just klutzy? I blame the slippers. Now before you judge me, we all have things we hang on to even though we should have pitched them a long time ago. I'm talking things, not relationships. That in itself is a whole different topic. So some time ago, I asked my husband for a Christmas gift. Well, actually he asked me what I wanted. I thought it might be nice to have a pair of slippers. I usually walk around the house barefoot, so this would be an upgrade. Nice, cozy slippers. Little did I know, these weren't just any slippers. These were killer slippers. They were out to get me. Do you hear the music from Jaws? Oh, it wasn't right away that they manifest their desires. We lived in harmony for a while. It was right around Christmas time again, and we were hit with a snowstorm. This was unusual for the area we live in. It created some havoc, including taking out the power. We have a small generator which handled the refrigerator, but eating was something we had to rely on our own inventiveness. We have a propane cook stove and a Coleman ladder. Don't ask me why, we don't camp. I know, we are missing out. This way we can cook and see, but we have to stand out on the back porch to cook the food. I decided on beef stroganoff. I in my nice, warm, killer slippers. Beef stroganoff for us is a simple dish. How hard can this be? Cook stove, skillet, small pot, my slippers and I. Isn't this great? Here I am out on the back porch, cooking away. The beef mixture is simmering. It's time to drain the noodles. I grab that pot of hot boiling water, steaming noodles, and head inside. There is a slight step up into the port, the house off the porch. This is where the killer slippers make their move. One of them slipped off my foot. I tripped over the threshold and went sailing across the carpeted floor with a full pot of boiling hot water. Face down, arms stretched out like the Statue of Liberty. You'll be pleased to hear their evil plot was foiled, though. My elbow carries the scar of a rug burn, and not one drop of boiling water was spilled. I traded out the slippers for a regular pair of shoes. The dinner, of course, was delicious. To get something worthwhile, sometimes you have to give up something. I traded out those killer slippers for a regular pair of shoes to finish up that delicious dinner. In your life, in your journey through life, discipline requires that you focus your time on those things that are worthwhile. To have a nice home, you have to work at a job that will afford you that. A good body requires you exercise and eat well. Enjoying a happy family life means spending time with them. You don't have to do it alone though. Find yourself a program that teaches you all the steps, which include step-by-step -step instructions, taught by someone who has been there and done that, someone who is willing to mentor you, a program that helps to change your mindset, and then has a community who has your back. Remember, it isn't getting easy. It isn't easy getting into the right mindset, and you will have to give up something, but in the end, it is always worthwhile.